Hello everyone. Today I will be posting a short video with instructions on how to get your other category back to reasonable level in iTunes. As you can see in my iTunes here, my other category is approximately 740 megabytes in size. That's a perfectly normal size. However, in some cases you will have a problem where your other category starts to grow to 2 gigs, 6 gigs, and even more. The first time I encountered this problem, I looked around on Google to see what solutions were out there. Unfortunately, the only solution I could find required me to reset my phone, reinstall all of my apps, and rebuild the settings. As you can imagine, this took a long time to complete, and after a short time, this issue came back again to haunt me, only this time I was determined to find a better solution. I did some more Google searching, and I stumbled onto a website that had the answer. Unfortunately, I can't remember the URL to that site anymore, but I do remember the instructions that I found that did fix my problem. I will show you these steps in hopes that it helps you out and saves you the trouble of having to reestablish your phone all over again. And the best part of these steps is that they're easy to perform and there isn't very much to carry out. In step one, you'll see, while leaving your phone plugged into your computer via a USB cable and leaving iTunes open, you want to press the power button and the home button on your iPhone at the same time, but only for a few seconds. You should then see the option to shut down your phone. Allow the phone to shut down and leave it off for about 30 seconds. In step two, you want to power the phone back up again. Wait till it gets to the main home screen and everything's loaded up. Now go back into iTunes on your computer and resync your phone. You should see the other category go back down to a more reasonable level. Keep in mind you do not want to press both buttons for more than 10 seconds. Once you get to 10 seconds, you will put the phone into a mode called DFU mode which is more of a diagnostics or firmware upgrade mode. In order to get out of that mode, if you do get into that one accidentally, simply press both buttons again and for approximately 10 seconds and you should be able to get back out of that mode. Should you require any further support, feel free to click on the link on the right hand side of our channel page. When you get to our website, click on the contact us tab and leave us a message. We'd be happy to help you out with any further IT related concerns.